We have an update on a story you saw first on 6 News yesterday. This afternoon, a state Senate committee approved legislation aimed at changing the size and structure of Penn State's Board of Trustees. The first vote in the legislature on the trustee reform issue, and it didn't come without controversy from the university. And Gary Sinderson is here now to explain. Gary? Marty, today's vote was in the Senate State Government Committee. The measure passed unanimously, and it comes after months of debate and hearings on proposals to downsize Penn State's Board of Trustees, along with making other reforms. And as we found out when Penn State administrators talk about moving forward, they apparently have a different idea of what that means in the state lawmakers. The university was fighting today's vote right up until the last minute. The mistakes that have been made at Penn State over the last few years, clearly there was a, a chain of command, a chain of information where that failed to get to the entire board. Senate Bill 1240 sponsor Senator John Udichak talking about one of the motivating factors leading to state lawmakers deciding more reform action is needed for the Penn State Board of Trustees. Under the legislation approved in the committee vote, the number of voting trustee members will be reduced from 30 to 23, with backers saying that will make for a more manageable and effective board. It'll make a big difference. When you look at the major top 25 universities in the country, they all have less than 25 members of the board. There's a reason for that. When you have less than 25 members of the board, that means everyone that's on that board is going to play an engaged role. But just yesterday, this letter from Penn State was sent to the lawmakers, and at Michael DeRamo, a special assistant to the university president, asked that the committee vote be tabled. He says the legislation is opposed by both the university trustees and Penn State administrators, although at least several trustees have spoken out in favor of the reform measures. And the main dispute here between the university and the lawmakers is Penn State saying, listen, we've already made a host of reform measures and we think you need more time to study other proposals, including downsizing the board. But as we saw by today's unanimous vote, state legislators, they have a different timeline in mind when it comes to talking about reform at Penn State. We're live in Center County, Gary Sanderson, 6 News.